Did you know that you can control your smartphone with your voice? I'm talking about opening up applications, switching applications, entering text, editing that text, using magnification, closing applications, and going back home. A lot of things that you normally think about doing when using your phone, you can actually do with your voice. I'm talking about an application that enables us to do all of that on almost all smartphones today. Sabaha everybody and welcome back to the channel. Let's go ahead and check out how can we do this and of course how you can try this out today. Like and subscribe so that you're always notified to whenever we have new videos on the channel. The reason why I have this many devices on my desk is to show you guys that it will work on virtually any phone that you have. You just need to download the application and you need to be running the latest version of the Google app on your smartphone. First, we have the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra, the Pixel 4 XL, the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro, so the Mi 10 and Mi 10 Pro will work. The Pixel 3a, again, a basically more of a mid-range processor. The OnePlus 8 Pro, as well as the Oppo, uh, this is the Find X2 Pro. As far as operating systems, most of them are running Android 10, so Android 10, Android 10, Android 10, Android 11 Beta 1. This is Pixel, and here we have Android 10, and of course, on the Oppo, I'm running the Find X2 Pro with the first official beta directly from Oppo for their smartphones. So we're looking at Android 10 and Android 11, so let's go ahead and check it out. So the demo that I'm going to show you guys today will run on all of these devices at the exact same time. I will use my voice to control all of these devices, so six devices in all, to control the same function, and of course, I'll I'll show you guys obviously how easy it is to activate. The app itself is called Voice Access. It is an app that you need to download directly from the Google Play Store. But one of the things that they did with the release of Android 11 Beta or even the Android 11 Preview is they made the update to this make it more functional, more intuitive into the environment that it's in. Meaning we no longer have to actually say numbers. An example would be here. As I'm turning it on, you'll notice that it actually has different functions. So I'll actually start assigning different numbers to the different parts of my display. It's dictating and reading everything I'm saying they change that to be a little bit more contextually uh, informed. So first and foremost, you do need to download it and there's a few things that we need to do to it. Now I have the button initiation function. You don't have to have that there. You can actually disable it and not show it. And again, I'm running it on the S20 Ultra here. You're also able to configure it to be able to turn on when your device is turned on means it will turn on to the lock screen. I disabled that, uh, that function. I also disabled it to work with answering automatic calls. So if you want it to basically turn on whenever new calls are coming in, you can turn this on and you can actually even use your voice to tell it to answer the phone call. Very nice and very quick and easy. Uh, you can also allow it to basically um, you know, activate during calls, cancel when you touch anywhere around the actual UI that is not this button. And of course, show the keyboard when stopped if there's any issue for it. Um, show borders, overlay in darkness, and of course, uh, there's a few other features that you definitely want to be able to check out there. So what I did for every single device here is I turned on the initiation button. Again, you don't have to have that on, but if you do, it's easier to actually activate. Open Twitter. Tweet. This is a test of the Google Voice Access application running on six different devices at the same time. Go home. Open Instagram. Go home. Open camera. Switch to front-facing camera. Front-facing camera. Go home. Open Google. Open Google. Scroll down. Scroll down, scroll up, go home. The benefit here is that you can actually try this on your device today. Uh, you can also see a, basically a list of some of the main commands that you can do. So the Google Assistant command, the magnification command, the text editing command, grid selection, gestures, and basic navigation. Uh, it is currently available in English, Spanish, 
uh, German, Italian, and I think also in French. Those are the only languages currently available. And again, all you have to do is go directly into the Google Play Store, look for the application called Voice Access, and then all you have to do essentially is download it and install it. It will prompt you to update your Google uh, application to be running the latest version. One thing you'll notice when you turn it on, it is actually contextually informed. So you don't necessarily have to say the name of the application the way I'm saying it. You can actually use numbers. So an example would be here. Let's say I want to be able to open up. And what I mean by this is you'll notice that there's a number for everything on your display. Display. And again, you can actually just say the number itself, 27. Take a picture. Nine. Fourteen. Go home. So the cool thing about this is that you can download it and try it out on your smartphone today. It is available through the Google Play Store. Again, it's called Voice Access. It is available in English, Spanish, French, German, Italian. And I hope to see that obviously in other languages, specifically Arabic. And for me, it really makes it very nice to be able to interact with our device. Now, in the past, this used to work where you need to basically say just the numbers on the screen. So when you turn it on, it activates a grid over your display. And what it does essentially is activate it by providing you a number for every app or whatever you're trying to do on the display. Now, that part is very cool, but now it actually works specifically by just saying, open up Twitter, send a tweet, delete that last paragraph, go home, cancel. All of those nice interactions are very much working there. And again, there's magnification. Uh, there are certain functions that are obviously augmenting the Google Assistant that's built in there. So a lot of things you can definitely try there and definitely will help you use your device. And if nothing else, just make it look really cool that you can control your smartphone with your voice and do so much with it. One thing I would say is definitely disable the automatic functionality because it does end up actually draining a little bit more battery from your system. So that was one of the reasons why I disabled it from being on all the time. If I want it, I can initiate it, put my phone down, and I can control everything on it. Um, and it works quite well. Uh, it does integrate with the assistant, so it works really nice that way if you want to be able to use it. Let me know in the comments below, what do you guys think of this feature, and will you be trying it out on your own smartphone today? Like and subscribe as usual, and I'll see you guys in the next video.